from the 1900 meter marker. To give them a chance to settle down for a leader, Velmont is right there shortly after the start. Sir Benjamin with a good position. Luna Raiders in the green, also among the leading group. They're followed by Your Worship, Umlu, Moy S also getting up there. Kalada, Orbis Ridge being ridden out to be about five lengths off the leader. And on the outside, Moy S, that's the widest of all, has gone off to lead them. Gangnam Stars about eight or nine lengths off the leader at this stage. They are followed further back by Fair Catch, Battle Hammer, Ice Pack. A Go West McGraw is one of the trailers. They're tracing about 14 lengths off them with Turn of the Tide. Moyes is wide out though. Moyes and Your Worship. They are the two that are disputing the lead. They've gone away by about three lengths there. Moyes is very wide out on the track. In third now is Umlu. They are followed by Luna Raider in the green. Back fourth. Then Kaladar. Sporting right has the white blinkers about seven lengths off the leader. Orbis Ridge on the outside. Moyes is running wide out on that track there. Difficult ride. And they are followed by Valmont. And then comes Sir Benjamin. Battle Hammers further back, Gangnam Style, then comes Fair Catch. At this stage, Go West McGraw still got 11 lengths to make up with Ice Pack. Top of the lane, they come 500 to go, Moyes now and Your Worship. Behind that, Umlu Sporting Rights. Kaladar comes towards the outside, then Sir Benjamin. Go West McGraw has gone right towards the inside, and Gangnam Stars also trying to run on. Got a wall of horses in front of it, though. And Kaladar at the front at the 200, Your Worship. Sir Benjamin, Go West McGraw is now trying to get into the race. Ice Pack's running on. Ice Pack's coming at Kaladar. Battle Hammer's also right there. Battle Hammer, Go West McGraw takes off, though. Go West McGraw got up to win it. Battle Hammer ran second, Ice Pack third, and Kaladar ran into fourth position. So, victory for number 16, Go West McGraw, Alison Wright, Lummis Cross Stud, the Golden Bike, Go Deputy, Brandon Lorena. Only second time at the track, and Go West McGraw from 1,450 metres to the 1,900 steps up, wins it a half length. Second position to Battle Hammer, Ice Pack stays on nicely for third, Caledon will run into fourth. Behind that, Sir Benjamin, and then came Your Worship. Further back in the field is Turn of the Tide and then Fair Catch, Sporting Rights. Moy S was very wide out. You've got to ignore that run. Gangnam Style didn't quicken up. And then Valmont and Umlu. You had to be worried. Go West McGraw ends up right in the middle of the track, not towards the outside. Gave a lot of start. And Go West McGraw starts to quicken up. He gave trouble at the gate. He's wearing a strap over just behind his ears. That's obviously to try and keep him under control. And he ends up being victorious. Sheldon was very strong on the source. Go West McGraw. And they end up winning at a half length. Battle Hammer, I spell. Until the running of race number five, back to the studio. Race number four over 1900 meters has gone the way of Go West McGraw, three year old son of Go Deputy, trained by Alison Wright and ridden to victory by Brandon Lorena. Uh, Brandon, at one stage there, I saw you 15, 16 lengths off them. When you turned foam and asked the swans, you had quickened well. Yeah, I quickened well, but um, they went very quick. So they're always going to come back to me, and uh, I didn't put them under any pressure early. And uh, we got a beautiful split down the inside as, as everyone went toward the outside. And uh, he won a very nice race for him to be going 1900 in his second run and winning. It's a, it's a very good one. To give a, a runner like this confidence, you always would prefer them to have a, a run over the distance before, but, you know, like you said, first run in the 1900 is really impressive. Yeah, it is, and I've got to say, why don't you, Alan Kev, they were, they were very confident, and they've always been confident of the source. Thanks for having me on. Thank you to Mr. and Mrs. Rattray and Mrs. Jordan on the farm. Very nice to ride, ride a win in these socks. Great stuff, Brandon. Well, enjoy the rest of your card. Anything worth telling the patrons about? No, I'll be on my way home. All right, awesome stuff. Always good to have a winner. Great stuff. Thanks, brother. Well done to my sponsors as well. Thank you. Thanks there. Let's get uh, through Alison Wright, the conditioner. 
Uh, Alison, I would have preferred her to have a, a run over the distance, but it's uh, proved uh, me wrong, and it's come out to win a cracking good race. Oh, Wesley, I think he's, he's, he's bred to go this distance. Obviously, a 1600 would have been a natural progression, but you go with the draws these days, and um, he drew well here, and, um, you know, he's, he's not a difficult ride at all. Unfortunately, it's just the pens that, um, that are a problem, and uh, strangely enough, because he's such a nice ride and good attitude, but a big thank you to Mr. Rattray for the support and to Sally Jordan in the, um, on the stud, and uh, well done to Glenn, who's done a lot of work on the hook horse, excuse me, and uh, yeah, thanks to him. He just, uh, yeah, let's hope he improves there, and um, you know, we didn't want him that far back, but obviously he, he just was a bit troublesome, but uh, thankfully he's in, and he's, we're in the number one box. Yes, the turn of foot was there. Did you have it 100% tuned up today, or do you think uh, you could have uh, had him a bit sharper? He did win a cracker. Yeah, Wesley, his first run was very good over the 1400. He ran second to our other horse, um, first flight, so you know, we, we were expecting a good run. Obviously, the concern was the pens. Well done to Kevin and to the whole team at home. Yeah, it's always wonderful when the hard work goes in and they, they bring it on race day and uh, end up in the winner's enclosure. Yeah, especially when you know they've got ability. You know, it's, it's, um, it's good to, be, to have them bring it to the track. Great stuff, Alison. Enjoy this winner. Thanks very much, Wesley. There we've seen the running of race number four. That's gone the way of Go West McGraw. Like I said, it's a three-year-old son of Go Deputy. It's owned and bred by Lammas Kral Stud. So well done to Mr. Rattray. Uh, that was drawn five and ridden to victory by Brandon Lorena. Came from the clouds to get up and win going away. We'll see you back for race number five.